So the housemaid are getting ready for their tax presentation and I thought I should come here and have a little approval with you guys because a lot is happening. If you haven't been watching the show, I'm here to tell you that a lot is happening. And guys, this is only day four, but a lot has happened from day one to today. In this video, I'm going to be giving you details of everything that happened yesterday because guys, Yesterday was the highlight so far of all the housemates. I'm talking about a pending fight between the dummy pair. I'm talking about the kind of rift between the Ndine and the Mbadiwe pair, which I think they've sorted out right now. And I'm also talking about the coven of wishes that we have. I think we have our coven of wishes this season. And the wildest truth or dare game that this housemate played. And to cap it all off, the last game they played last night. Welcome to today's video. My name is Shooks and this is Powerhouse of Positivity. If this is your first time coming across my channel, all you have to do is watch this video till the end, hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share your thoughts down below in the comment section. Let us have a dialogue about this amazing show called Big Brother Niger Season 9. So to start it all off, I'm going to start with the Ndine pair and the Mbadiwe twins. Guys, we already know yesterday Big Brother capped off the, head, the diary room session within the way they came in and spilled all the tears, all their pent anger about the Mbadiwe twins and also made a statement about how they are planning on revenge for what the Mbadiwe twins did by using them. If you guys don't already know, according to Ndine, the Mbadiwe twins got closer to them immediately they won the custodian and we are playing bodies, bodies, bodies only for Ndine to vote for the Mbadiwe twins to become the head of house and at the end of the day the Mbadiwe twins didn't even cast a vote for them. Now, I know a lot of you have seen different clips and a lot of you have your own judgment about this whole thing. But all I have to say to the internet is, at the end of the day, this is a game show. You might have your own preference of who you want. I might have my own preference of who I want. You've already won immunity. So being that greedy and asking for a vote for the head of house, where we already know that head of house also comes with immunity. You can't have double immunity while there are other people still looking to be safe for that week. So, on their own part, they are greedy. On the Mbadiwe part, they did nothing wrong. This is all about preferences. Big Brother later gave access to the head of house to the Mbadiwe twins. And guys, I have to say, pardon me, I know all around the house, if you can see from this video, looks amazing guys when i'm talking about amazing it looks I mean, it looks wow it looks like something out of a spaceship well you see that head of house room you know jig you know jig the head of house room for the all-star season was the perfect head of house room but you see this head of house room i'm not i'm i don't have that vibe when big brother showed it to us i didn't get the vibe of oh this is the head of house room no i got the vibe of oh this is a rich guy's hostel that's what I felt like. It's a rich guy's hostel. Because there's no kitchen. There's the only thing. I don't even see a kitchen. But I think the kitchen was hidden. But all I saw was a resting area, a top, and then a bathroom. I didn't see the kitchen. So if you saw the kitchen, please point it out for me. So after Big Brother gave them access to the head of house room, Big Brother tasked them to choose a housemate to share the head of house room upon Big Brother's instruction. They chose the Indian Nepal to show their loyalty. For choosing them as the head of house. Now, my question is: the said planned revenge that Indine had already told Big Brother that they are planning for the Mbadiwe twins, is this still going to go on? Or with the Mbadiwe twins choosing them, are they going to let everything slide and be like, okay, they've paid us back for choosing them? I still don't know what their plan is, but we'll keep an eyes on them. Moving on to another topic of discussion, guys. Yesterday, this guy played a the most wild truth or dare game and i've already made a video about that so if you finish watching this i'll urge you to go check it out so you get the details of everything that happened during that head of during that truth or dare game because guys it is what one of the questions that was asked is today the uh, wani and honey twins have you ever been present while your sister was having sex guys that question was asked by ben really that question came up i'm like ben these people are twins yes they do they do almost everything together yes but there are a lot of things that as twins you can do private and sex is one of those things but 
we never know if they were present why uh, one another or why one was doing what but we don't know so moving on now guys for the classic case of the boy is mine you can't have him if i can't have him nobody else can i'm talking about the dummy pair guys i remember when this housemate we are coming in big brother asked them different uh, asked them different questions are guys going to come between this pair most of the housemates we are like never we've been friends for so 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 years we've been friends for so so so, so years yeah, yeah 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 guys the issue right now is between toyosi of the dummy pair and dummy lola of the dummy pair and guys before we get into that story i want to say that also that dummy is coming out as a rude person to the housemate i'm talking about the person of shinne and onyeka they've been complaining about how rude dummy's attitude is and i would like to ask you guys how many of you have noticed how rude them is because from the late night conversation or is it early morning conversation because it happened around four o'clock south african time so the conversation that dummy and her friend supposed that friend was having guys i think there is a crack in that friendship and it's because of a guy tofa of all the guys in the house it is because of tofa so the conversation first off started with dummy lola talking to tk about this whole issue of her liking tofa also uh toyosun also liking tofa so they had their own conversation moved on toyosun also went to tk complained bitterly about okay this is what is going on between i and dummy so far so she said she likes this guy i also like this guy but because she's my friend i stepped out of the shadow for her to okay pursue this with this guy since you already made it clear that you like her that you like him but at the end of the day she came back and be like no i'm not I, i'm not even fancying that guy that much i just said it because everybody is trying to get into a ship but i'm not that serious into getting to know him so now person is complaining if i've already given you the opportunity to pursue what you've already wanted to pursue why are you now doing a 360 and saying that you're not uh, interested anymore now i'm losing because my friendship with you is already uh it needs a uh, how will i put it what it's not worst stage so far but there's a crack and now the boy that is causing that whole problem i'm not having him and you're also not having him so after having that complaint tk said no problem that he will have a word with them and guys a word he did because at the end of the day this housemate played a game big brother asked them to play a game because if you remember the theme for this week is we are us or something like that something to something that has to do with us so uh, for the team of this week big brother has tasked this housemate to do different tasks to get them to get to know each other and one of the tasks that they did yesterday's night was the game of guests so in this game every housemate will come up make three sentences or three statements about themselves and in that three statements that you make two of the statements will be true one of the statements will be a lie now either of the housemates that guesses the two truth and one lie will come up and play the game whomever fails it keeps rotating now the twist is the pair of the housemates standing up is not won't be guessing yes the pair the second person in the pair of the ones hey how will i put this guys two people one is standing playing the game the other one sitting down won't be guessing whether it's true or lie so after playing that game everybody came out said one or two things so the housemate got to know them on a deeper level so when when that happened i thought okay it's almost lights out some of the housemates are already going to bed and then we were zoomed in to a conversation that i'm like no 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 this is not two friends having a conversation this is like a an older sister having a conversation with a little kid let's not just say teen but a little kid because the way that milola was inserting her presence in the presence of toys and i'm like are you sure these two people are friends because i'm not seeing friendship because if i'm talking to my friend i won't Kawa, I won't be uh, 
you know, no, of an inf infatuation of some sort. No, if I'm talking with my friend, I'll be bold because this is someone I consider my friend. But from that conversation that they were having, you can see that no, that dummy is the alpha of that group. That dummy is the head of the pair. And Toyosin is just like, oh, let everything go. Oh, every, I will let everything go. Because, guys, Yo, the worst thing about this whole thing is when uh, Toyo Sin is trying to prove a point to Dami, Dami will be like, no, I'm not stupid. I'm not dumb. I know what I'm doing. I'm like, yo. And then you see Toyo Sin be like, uh, okay, I'm not saying you're stupid or you're dumb. I'm just saying you have to be careful. Don't drain your energy. And then Dami will be like, no, I'm not draining my energy. I don't like the way you're putting it like I'm ushering a guy and I'm, yo, guys. It was sad to watch as a viewer and someone who has been friends with someone for more than five years, six years. Seeing that kind of thing portrayed on national TV, I kind of felt sad for Toyo Sin. And to carry it all off, after the whole conversation we are done, Toyo Sin was like, okay, please, can I go take a shower? Yo! Immediately she said that, I'm like, big brother should just dissolve this pair now. Big Brother should, should just dissolve this pair to avoid more catastrophe. Because, guys, the way I'm looking at this pair right now, this might be the first pair to actually break up. Yes, this might be the first pair that are not on the same level as of now. So, I don't know. I don't know if they are going to survive this week. And if they do survive, I don't know what will go on in their pairs. If Big Brother is going to come up and rescue them by separating the pairs, or if Big Brother is still going to let them sink down. Because, guys, from the conversation they had last night, they are here. They are sinking. They are going down, 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 down the rabbit hole. Because tell me why, as a pair, I have to cower down. I have to talk to you with my demeanor lesson just for you to play the alpha. No. That means you came in here as a pair. That means that we are equal. Everything we do, we are doing it as equal. Yes, you might have your own cliques. Yes, you might have your own people that you talk to. But at the end of the day, we are playing this game as pair. If I go today, you go. If you go today, I go. Unless Big Brother changes the rules tomorrow. So guys, with everything that is happening in the house, I would like to hear your thoughts on all the things that I've said today, the ones that you watched and the ones that you didn't watch. Let me just know, what are your thoughts about this housemate? Are they giving you that, yes, we are here to play this game vibe? Or are they just, because from my point of view, this housemate, I think, so far throughout the seasons of Big Brother, the first week is always boring. Let's all be honest with each other. Most times, the first week is always boring. But you see this set of housemates, yo, the selections that we have made, everybody came with their A game. They have been giving us uh, everything back to back to back to back. People are strategic. People are just sitting down, but also coming out. People are just like the way they have been viewing this game. You know that no, this set of housemates are fans of Big Brother. This set of housemates have been watching the show for a very long time and they already know how this game is played. And I can't wait to see how this season unravel, guys. This is still day four. And this housemate has been giving it back to back to back. Share your thoughts down below in the comment section. I would like to have a dialogue with you all about this season of Big Brother. Bye-bye.